Okay, you're just gonna have to ignore in this video, I'm a little bit sick. I'm currently on my way to the post office to pick up a parcel that I was supposed to have a week ago, but didn't end up with. Because they delivered it a day early, and because of what the parcel is, they couldn't just leave it. And so yeah, I had to end up getting this parcel shipped back to the place to get sent back out to a post office instead of my house, because I didn't know if I'd be home. So, I'm currently on my way to pick up my brand new MacBook Pro. Okay, so it's me from like a week later. Yeah, so basically in this video, I just like get my new computer and I just film me like setting it up Resetting my old computer and then talking about what computer I got and maybe some other options for if you're looking for like a quick computer By no means so I don't really know much tech stuff I just know what I've looked up online Also, I give you a little like how to make a wallpaper to be productive because I make this like nice little desktop one And a nice little collage and then a tour of my laptop and some productivity apps and stuff like that that I like That's what this video is kind of different, but I thought I might as well considering I just spent three grand on a laptop. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. Also, a little disclaimer if you see this, it's nothing. I just had a little accident in the kitchen and it's just stopping my hand from moving too much, but it's fine. I have secured my package. This is what we've got right now. Got the brand new, you can't even see it, brand new MacBook Pro going from a 2020 MacBook Air. I want the opening to be dramatic, so I'm gonna get my tripod out. I make this ASMR. Look at it. Right off the bat, size is like so much better. This is a 14 inch. Oh my god, my voice is going. This is so annoying. This is a 14 inch. And my last one was a 13 inch. I can do a side by side. This is good. Obviously, this one is dirty and it's like old and shattered. But obviously, this one looks nicer. Screen's better. Keyboard looks way more slick. It is so pretty. I got the same color. And I will be getting a case that's the same. I was going to say, it always assumes you've got one of those wall plugs, but... They've hidden it from me and they've changed the charges. I don't think this is a new thing though. This is also coming from like a non-tech person perspective. I just wanted like a fast running computer. Okay, right now I thought I'd quickly just jump in and explain the laptop I got and the other option I was going for but why I didn't get that price differences, you know, the whole gist. I got the 2023 14-inch MacBook Pro in silver. This has an M3 chip, 8-core CPU, 10-core GPU, and 16-core neutral engine. I don't really know what that means. But one of the main parts here was it came with a 10-core GPU. I know it's faster than the 8-core GPU. I also got it with 500 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigabytes of unified memory. And the reasons why I got it, because all these things working together, obviously going to make a quicker MacBook as well. I used the Apple education website and it got me like $200 off so that's a tip if you're a uni student and I also got a voucher from using the education site that got me my nice case it's, it's a brand new one like they had just released it I feel like it's like better in the long run to like have a newer laptop we'll get the education site for my laptop I paid two thousand seven hundred ninety nine dollars and I think originally if I didn't use the site it would have come to three grand I definitely saved some money especially considering I got a gift card now we're gonna compare that with well, I know someone at uni who had this m2 MacBook air which was the option i was gonna get and she said it was really good at doing what she needed it for it was very quick and so this was my other option so a macbook air can come with an m1 or an m2 chip i was gonna go for the m2 if i was to get the m2 i would have gotten instead of 8 core gpu the 10 core gpu and an upgrade i was gonna do was 16 gigabytes of unified memory if we use all of that and do the same storage using the apple student site it would have been two thousand three hundred and seventy dollars it would have only been like a four hundred dollar different. I'm just saying like there is other options that aren't as expensive. Yeah. I've got all of my apps and everything and now I'm gonna get the stuff on my hard drive that I want on my computer onto my new computer. So I think we're gonna erase my old computer. I thought I'd document it because then it's more dramatic if I realize I didn't save something. Erase all content and setting. Feels so different. Erase all. Oh, why is it the user that's freaking me out? Erase all content. Erase all 
Okay, so I just wanted to explain how I made my wallpapers. I don't know, I feel like they're good. And if you don't really like know how to use Canva, and if you haven't really played with Canva, it can kind of be a bit like, what am I doing? So this is an easy guide of like how to like customize it to like make it how you want it, but like guided. For making like a productivity desktop layout sort of thing. This might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I find it really helpful to like keep my mind clear and be able to like, find everything. So yeah. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go into Pinterest and just find like a wallpaper or like an image with like colors or a quote that you like and just paste it into your Canva layout. Because Pinterest images are kind of like bad quality, you're really just using this photo or like thing as like a guide. So you're just copying the colors or the font or the quote sort of thing. So I'm just copying the color here using the color of the font, kind of using the same quote and style for this next part it just takes a lot of like playing with so with shapes and stuff or graphics you can search up on pinterest like canva graphics and it'll give you some things to look up to find those and you're just adding shapes for like your folders and for your sticky notes and widgets and yeah just kind of making something that looks nice and you think will keep you on top of it here's kind of the annoying part where you have to base it off your home screen and like match the folder sizes just takes a little bit of fiddling but it only took me a few minutes then i'm just adding my widgets which you can get through widget getter or widget wall and then i don't know you can add photos just play with whatever you like so the college wallpaper is super simple i'm just doing one for february and kind of just go into pinterest pick any photos that are like fit what you're doing in the month or anything that will like inspire you so that every time you look at your wallpaper it's like you're reminded adding some text to it just as like i know it's the february one so why not and then that's your wallpaper done that's that for the home screen and wallpaper obviously you can change whatever you like add colors you can even combine both of these wallpapers and just have one so a bit of photos on your desktop layout or have like the collage with boxes over it and um, but yeah Okay, so now it's probably time for me to give a little tour of my laptop. I'm literally just showing it to you and then I've got two apps that I like to use that I would recommend. So you already probably know about these two apps, but I find them really helpful. First of all, this is just my like home screen. Obviously, I've got folders with like normal stuff. Once I like do my uni stuff, it'll look a little bit different, but this is it for now. And I've got my collage wallpaper ready because when I add a new desktop, it automatically does that one. So then I just go set desktop picture and then as i explained before you can get these widgets through widget wall which is here and widget getter which getter does like this things and then widget wall you can just add photos and stuff then obviously my sticky notes they're pretty empty right now because i don't really have much going on then we got my normal collage i'm not sure what i'll do for uni i might actually combine these two things as i mentioned earlier as well just to keep it nice and simple and then the two apps that i like i've got Notion and I just use it for all this sort of thing um, planning videos yeah planning for uni I use like a whole uni layout which I'll be doing in I think my next video will be that I'll give like a full tutorial on how to make the uni one and how to like customize it other app I've got that I really like is structured I haven't used it lately because I've been out of action a little bit like this and like I'll put travel when I have work just so and it makes me get stuff done because it like syncs to your phone you can sync it to your watch and it's good because you can like move stuff around to like be different times I don't know that's just how I like my laptop so thanks for watching this video I love my new laptop it's way quicker than my last one um and I'll see you next week